Taurus, Gemini and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot, she has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot. Well, hello, Capricorn, and welcome to Sexy Tarot. Capricorn, this will be your edition of Sexy Hair as a Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Capricorn is a friendly reminder we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Capricorn, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the cross watcher, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Capricorn, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and Moon placements. There's a link to a free nature chart on the about page of my YouTube channel. All right, Capricorn, I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. This is intended to be a general reading. There will be an extended to this reading. You can find the link to your extended reading in the description box below. Hold on, windows popping up, open on me, and I don't know why. All right, so let me get into the reading. On the crack. I want to crack. All right, Capricorn. Is somebody trying to steal somebody's shine? Or are they trying not to either... First of all, this is both Leo's energy. Either somebody's trying to steal somebody's shine here. Or somebody's trying not to give the other ones too much attention. Or trying not to give something some attention. And it's like killing somebody because they want to call something out. One good shuffle for the Capricorn. That's why they somebody want to call something out. Either you do or they do. We going to see. Spirit, what energies does Capricorn need to be made aware of at this time? Please and thank you. Capricorn, you have the Nine of Wands. You have the Ten of Cups. You have the nine of cups. Up and I'm feeling up and down energy. The three of pentacles. The eight of wands. The emperor. Five of pentacles. Five of wands. Or a tower gonna be coming when I get to the. I gotta feel it. Knight of pentacles. The signs that I have on the table are Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. So Capricorn, when it comes to your family, right, I see you and a family trying to get together or this could be a work situation. I'm going to say family or work. So it looks like when trying to reach this middle ground, that's what I'm going to say, it seems to be some drama. You are losing your grip. You got to loosen your grip. I'm just being honest with you. Capricorn, it looks like you keep pushing and pushing and nothing happening. That's why I'm saying you got to loosen your grip. Unless you purposely trying to stalemate this. Or unless it makes you feel good to see somebody stuck and stagnant. You know, this could be vice versa. But I'm reading for you. Capricorn, it's like you you keep plunging forward, you happy, and then it's like, I don't know if you get caught up in your ego or what's going on. I see all is I see this team having these conversations. The messages either could be coming into you, and if this is work, it's like you the boss or something. But I see this communication coming in to this person that's trying to control 
It's like this person is trying to control, like be stoic. It's like somebody just wants this drama to stop. They're like, look, I, I just want this drama to stop. And they and whoever causing this, the other person is like really just turning their back doing nothing. And like somebody holding on to their peace here. This could be you or somebody else. At the bottom of the deck, the reason for this reading is the Empress. The, I'm telling you, somebody like, look, I got this project I'm working on. I'm building this. Um, I'm not. I'm gonna sit here and do nothing. You could come to me. Somebody like you could come to me. All right. Let's see why this is here. First of all, let me get my life right. At the bottom of the deck, you have the page of cups. It's like, it's the sweet communication, but somebody like, I don't want to hear this shit. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And somebody thinking about this, it's like, somebody like, don't want to hear this. It's almost like, somebody, I'm telling you, somebody think about this. This could be involving a marriage, a commitment, a wedding, a celebration of some sort. It could be involve a Leo. But it looks like somebody is leaving a house. That's what it looks like. It looks like um, here, something's coming full circle. And it's like somebody like, you know what? I'm done with this. But it's another person, because I got two energies here. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus energy here. And it's like somebody like, I'm not doing nothing else. That's just what it feel like. I'm not doing nothing else. It, it, see, it, it's a slick energy. It's like somebody trying to figure out how can I pull this off. But then it's like this guard at the door. It's almost like somebody plotting to leave somebody stuck. That's how I feel. Like, look, hold up. Let me show you. See, everything falling like once somebody to fall. Oh shit! Once somebody to fall apart. Got my goddamn crystal ball to fall off, off fell, fell off the table. I can't even talk. It's like somebody wanna leave somebody the hell stuck here, or what they should to fall apart and with my damn ball up. I hear it rolling. Lord have mercy. Thank God it's real crystal because it might have shattered. But this some strange ass energy, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's like somebody wanted to leave somebody stuck. It's like somebody wants somebody to fall from grace. That's just how I feel. Okay. Figure this shit out. What you going to do? Is somebody coming in out of nowhere with these messages bringing up this old shit? I'm just being honest, bringing up this old shit. But it, it's like all in the name of selfishness. Aquario, Aquarius and Leo energy here. It's like somebody like, look. I'm telling you what I want to do. I'm telling you what I want to do. You could get on board or no. This could be involving a marriage commitment or some money. But somebody like, I just want to make things right. But the energy feels so weird. That's the best way I could tell you. Capricorn, you had this nine of wands. So maybe you just got over an injury or something, right? Or maybe you're healing because you was hurt. Something hurts you. Clearly something hurts you. And I see you pushing through though. So let's look at this nine of wands. Tell me about the nine of wands for Capricorn Spirit, please and thank you. Yeah, you don't trust this. You like, I don't trust this shit. <laughs> and it's like up and down energy here. At the bottom of the deck, you have nasty knot and baby sets. So you better take it slow. Take this shit slow because there's some changes here. And, and whatever these changes is, it is very confusing. So take it slow because something getting out of hand 
here. It's like with GPS and I got your back. It's almost like somebody looking over your shoulder. Okay. And you just want to be free. It's, it almost feel like you can't do what you want to do or say what you want to say. Move how you want to move. I'm hearing that song. It's all right. <laughs> so there's something new here for you. And this could be new conditions, new environment, new work, new people. But you don't trust it. You like, mm -mm, I don't trust that shit. It's you, two nines, so we talking to you. You don't trust it. Why is brand spanking new here for Capricorn? See, unhappy fell out. I mean, happy fell out in reverse. You don't like it. You don't trust it. I'm telling you, you don't. You like, mm, I don't know about this. And I want you to know I have a divine candle part because I have the emperor here and the empress here, but we'll get to it. At the bottom of the deck, you have intuition and creativity. So, what are you, what are you coming up with? It's like you're getting these ideas, and you, it's like you have all this energy. You want to get something started. Okay, there's somebody very sweet here, and you might miss them from the past. It's you miss whoever this is, but it's a lot of stress. You want to do something, but whatever it is you're trying to make happen with passion is stressing you out, and spirit needs you to trust the process. You just need to trust the process. But whatever this brand spanking new thing is, whether it's a, somebody acting different, new conditions, new people, new work, I don't know. You don't trust it and it makes you unhappy. And in the extended, I'm going to get very specific and dive deeper into these energies. So with this Ten of Cups, right, these changes are for the better of all, is what I'm hearing, for the better of all. But... Whatever you see and you confused, you like, hold up. So it looked like you're about to disrupt something or somebody's about to disrupt you. You could be analyzing something and whatever you analyzing about whatever this happiness is in this home or this family, there's some sort of disruption. And I'm going to clarify and extend it. So with this nine of cups here, I feel like well, woo, woo. this is like somebody celebrating. What they celebrating is the fact something ain't balanced though. It's like something is not balanced. It's not an equal give and take or something's not fair and somebody celebrating this. It's like you're thinking like this shit ain't right. That's just how I feel. And with this three of pentacles, this can be involved in work. But there's a group here. There's a networking, a conversation. And somebody has this idea. And they're speaking it very proudly and very loud. And it looks like it's you. All these nines. I got nine here, nine here, nine here, nine here. You should probably Google angel number 999. It's like you have this idea like you want to come in, you want to search yourself, and they want, whoever this group is, they won't know where you coming from. Okay. Well, with this eight of wands, it's like a lot of messages going back and forth, and this these messages are so quick. And it's about somebody um, receiving some gifts with faith could be a Taurus. So Spirit is saying in the center of your reading, it's something about communicating because the five of wands is under here. It's something about the way you communicate in and Spirit like just go with the flow. Trust that things you're going to get what you're supposed to receive. Trust that everything is going to be fine, but it's something with your communication. 
And here's this emperor energy, Aries or Taurus energy. This could be an older gentleman. It could be a boss, a father figure. But someone is trying to control, pick up, your, pick up after yourself. It's like somebody thinking about, like, how can I control things so I can be comfortable, so I can be good. This could be you or somebody else. Somebody is saying here, like, look, I'm not going to let this bother me. Um, I'm going to do my part, but I'm good where I'm at. Like, I don't want to really participate in these conversations because it's messing with my comfortability. So I'm just going to chill. And with this five of pentacles, someone feels abandoned, left out in the cold. Because somebody said, it's like somebody saying, you don't know what you're talking about. No, that's not the answer. Or this is not going to work. This is not going to grow. So, you could feel like things are moving forward without you. And it's making you feel left out in the cold. And with the five of wands, it's all this drama, competition. Um, it, it is, it's a lot with these changes. So, over your shoulder. So, I feel like something new here caused a bunch of problems. Whether it's new behavior, new personality, new person, new people, new job. And... It's like every time where you turn, it's some drama or something being addressed about someone's success. So I don't know if you're in a dog-eat-dog -dog work environment. What the hell this is? Capricorn, you had this Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. This is like somebody slowing somebody down like, er, slow down, slow. With time to fly. This is somebody slowing down to work. Stop. Somebody's trying to make something happen. The other one like, no, stopping it. Controlling what's going on. It's like, is somebody here unhappy? And it's like their faith or their intuition is not properly or they're not listening to it. Somebody's unhappy, okay, and they losing faith or they believe something should be stopped. Whatever this something is. Something's out of whack. It's not balanced. But you need to understand that everything is to be controlled. And some things or energies need to play out so that growth can occur. Because it looked like you had this idea to disrupt something, Capricorn, if I'll be honest with you. And you want to be successful because it's all about your comfort. And I feel like right now you want to be the empress. And you want to sit back and you want to sit pretty. And it's some project you want to build, something you want to grow. But in order for you to do it, it looks like you want to stop somebody else. I don't know what the hell this is. It's almost like somebody want to put somebody in a place. So when they extend the Capricorn, I'm going to dive deeper into these energies. And we're going to see what's really going on. Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. This has been your edition of Sexy Hairs of Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Capricorn, if you would like to be notified the next time I go live and upload a video. Peace, happy Capricorn.